Well, right now, I am in the city of Munich, and in the last episode of American Artifact, we were right here at one of the places where a, a huge turning point in history took place. This is the building that was formerly known as the Fuhrerbau, or the Fuhrer Building. It is where the Munich Agreement was signed. It's where Hitler had his office in Munich. And then right over here is the former site of the Brown House, where the Nazi Party headquarters was at. And, and we showed some of the artifacts that came out of here, but there is much more that came out of this place. And uh, we're going to be dodging back to the Gettysburg Museum of History and seeing some of the other artifacts that soldiers pulled out of the rubble of both of these buildings in the closing days of World War II. at the Gettysburg Museum of History. Now we brought some of Malcolm Miller's silver back to the Fuhrerbau. He was one of the first guys into Munich. He also got into Hitler's apartment briefly. And so this is kind of his silver hoard. Um, some items from the apartment over here, including this really cool mechanical pencil that he saved. And I know another collector that has one of these that came out of the apartment as well. And these items over here came out of the Fuhrerbau. Um, and, and again, we, we took this with us to Munich. So um, uh, I wanted to just show the other items. And this is the uh, FB marked silver that he took. Now at the Fuhrerbau, they had like almost like a, a, a mess there for the employees and the people that worked there all the time. Um, and so they would use this less fancy stuff when they would host state dinners there, they would of course use, and, and if Hitler was in attendance, they would use the formal pattern. But uh, Malcolm Miller, um, one of the first guys in, we got this directly from the family. Here is his separation papers, and here's his dog tags, and he also brought a lot of other souvenirs like medals and things like that. We have some of his scrapbook pages. There he is, and he had Hermann Goering cuff, cuff title there, and all, you know a bunch of other paperwork. We, we also have his uniform too, but that's put away in our archives right now. Um, but again, nice little um, group of silver brought back by one of the first guys into Munich. Real quick, uh, here are a few more items of Hitler silver that came out of the Brown House. Now we brought a few of these items with us. This is the complete set that was recovered by this man right here. Uh, this is John uh, Schwinder from the 1269th Combat Engineers. Uh, again, he was one of the, the first guys in Munich. And here you can see like a, a teapot and here's a gravy boat, salt and pepper shaker. Okay, so these are all items that came out of the basement of the, the Brown House. So uh, US soldiers were always looking for, for souvenirs. And uh, the guys who were the first ones in Munich, well, they hit the mother load. going to talk a little bit about two other items that were brought back um, and uh, we we didn't bring these with us to Munich because you know we just couldn't bring everything I, I was going to but this is a book that was liberated by uh, American soldiers in the 45th division now again 45th division 42nd division and some of their supporting units were the first ones in Munich and um, this was a book that was taken out of the uh, the Fuhrerbau or the Brown House and um, you know the, the brown house was bombed, uh, but there was some ruins of it, and then the fear bow was right next door. And this this is about those two places. But the the thing that's neat about it is it's signed by the guys in the 45th division, and it says 
uh, Munich, Germany. War is over May 9th, 1945. First platoon, uh, I think it says B Company, uh, 179th Infantry, 45th Division, the best. <laughs> and and uh, the guys in first platoon here uh, signed it and um, a few more signed it over here. Um, but again, it's just a picture book. Like when you would, if you were like visiting the Brown House or the Fuhrerbau, a diplomat or there for meetings or something, you, they would give you this book and it just has photographs in it, some, some Hoffman photographs and it has some brief description of both complexes in here. But you know, the cool thing is all these signatures on here. One, one of my favorite pieces, there's, there's the cover with the National Eagle. Now I'm going to show you this next piece um, came out of Hitler's office in the Führerbau. Um, this was liberated by an American soldier. We have his affidavit when, for when he calls it a certificate of origin and authenticity. Um, and he, he took some silver as well out of, out of the Führerbau. But this was actually Hitler's. It was presented to Hitler. And what it is is a photo portfolio. And here it is saying it's, it's being given to Hitler. It's, it's when they completed construction on the Führerbau, and it's signed by the Burgermeister of Munich. It has the Munich coat of arms and um, the magistrate. And it has a list here of what's in here. And what it is, is it's a series of photographic plates by Hoffman, Hitler's photographer. And uh, they're really nice. They're, they're mounted on, on, on boards. And uh, you know, there's the outside, and I'll just show a couple of them here. This is the entranceway to the Führerbau. And here, here's, uh, I believe this is Hitler's office here. And there, there's, there's just a, a you know, a 22, I think it is, plates here. And um, very interesting. But it, it belonged to Hitler, liberated by an American soldier. Um, a guy that was there um, that was attached to some of these early units, but he, he lists his, his unit as the third army group. All right, well, there you go. Uh, those are just a few more items uh, that were recovered from the, the ruins of the Brown House and the Fuhrerbau in the closing days and months of World War II. Uh, I'm unapologetic about the fact that, that I like war trophies, w within reason, of course. Uh, the, these are signs, at least in World War II and in this place, that uh, the good guys won and, and that, that tyranny had been defeated. And, and the men who brought these items back take these things that had once represented evil and, uh, like I said, now represent the overthrow of tyranny and oppression. But anyway, very, very fascinating stuff.